Okay, so this is going to be a reading for my Taurus for July 8th through the 15th. Thank you guys so much for joining me back on my channel. We're going to go ahead and get straight into your reading for this week, okay guys? Taurus for July 8th through the 15th. And guys, please keep in mind, this is a general reading, so everything will not apply to you. If you do want a more personal reading, you can definitely check out my description box to go ahead and book that session with me, okay? Taurus for July 8th through the 15th. Okay, and then let's pull some love cards. What's going on with my Taurus love life? Okay, so the three cards just flew out, and then let me pull two of these, and we're going to go ahead and get straight into it. Give me two romance angel cards for my Taurus love life for July 8th through the 15th. Alrighty. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so Taurus, for July 8th through the 15th, I really feel as if everything that is taking place this week is really a part of the plan, okay? Even if things aren't really clear to you or you don't really understand why certain things may be happening, understand that it's happening because it's time, okay? For some of you guys, this is about positivity, like positive opportunities coming your way. And for some of you guys, like you feeling like you're getting closer and closer to your dreams. For others of you, this could be like other things kind of popping up, like, you know, relationships breaking up, whether that's like close relationships with friends or close relationships with romantic partners but um I'm definitely seeing that everything that does take place this week is a part of destiny with this card showing up here okay so understand that um also what I am seeing this week for a lot of you guys um there may come a moment where if you are emotionally down I don't feel like that's going to be for too long. I feel like whenever you get to your lowest point is when you're going to hit that spark or you're going to get that spark where it's like, okay, I got to make some changes. I got to do something different, especially if it is centered around centered around like toxic things that you may have been um stuck in. Like, okay, with this temptation card, for some of you guys, there may have been like bad habits or things that you kind of engaged in that were really connected to your shadow side like the dark side of you the aspects of yourself that are you know negative because we do have a negative and positive side or you can say um you know different aspects of ourselves I don't want to like get into that too deep but with this um there is a need for you to really Make sure that your temptations or anything that you have, like whether that's like a bad smoking addiction or a bad drinking addiction or having sex with someone who you know is not good for you, that could be an example. Um, whatever temptations that you may have, don't let your shadow side get you to the point where it's like you're engaging in that too, too much, okay? But moving past that, um, this week is really about you guys really standing your ground for what you believe in and really making sure that you're like overcoming anything that may come against you. Like I just feel that way. And I also feel as if for a lot of you guys, when it comes to reaching success, it is going to require you to really be assertive and be patient as well. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. 
And for some of you guys as well, there is a need for you to really take some time and think about some things, get some alone time in nature, especially if that is something that soothes you or is comforting to you as well. And also what I am seeing financially for a lot of you guys, I am seeing that there will be some money coming in. For others of you, it's a need for you to really understand that any sort of, again, obstacles or challenges that may come up, that they're just small things that you can't get over. Or let me not say small things, but they're obstacles that you can't overcome. They're not major obstacles that are going to keep you stuck. It's a matter of whether or not you are going to take that action to put your best foot forward and move forward. Okay, so now let's go ahead and talk about your love life. So when it comes to your love life, the cards that I did pull for you guys, I do have let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. Then we also have forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create reality by what you think, dream, and imagine, all right? And then we also have healing. And it says, imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. Then we also have, let your friends help you and soulmate. And then we also have at the bottom of the deck, true love, okay? So for a lot of you guys, um, really the gist of what I'm getting here is you guys are in some sort of connection or you guys were dealing with somebody where there may have been a sense of clinginess at one point or you guys being really attached to each other. For some of you guys, not in a positive sense due to the fact that there may have been a lot of toxicity within the relationship and you guys may have been in a space where it's like you couldn't be away from each other, but it wasn't really healthy for you guys. Um, and for some of you guys, there is a need for some deep healing to take place within your relationship or your connection. Um, and I feel like for a lot of you guys, that's only going to happen after there's a level of forgiveness being brought to the forefront. Whether that's within the relationship or just overall from just past events you guys may have experienced within your love life, okay? And for a lot of you guys, I feel like you guys truly do love each other, but there may be just some issues here with you guys having hope or faith for the relationship. And I feel like there is a need for you guys to, like I said, make sure you guys are really stepping up within the relationship and not engaging in childish energy and for some of you guys not allowing any sort of like situation with like outside children if somebody does have outside children with other people affect the relationship or just you guys having children in general and it's affecting the connection all right so let's go ahead and get into a spread So what's going on with my Taurus for July 8th through the 15th? July 8th through the 15th for my Taurus. Energy coming into this week. Last week's energy. The guidance for this week, off score issue, and the outcome. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So, looking at the bottom of the deck, for a lot of you guys, I am seeing that there is some sort of time that you're taking for yourself to really clear your mind and really get a sense of understanding and peace within yourself. And for some of you guys, this is you even taking a break, possibly from a um, Aries or another Taurus like yourself, or this is just your energy where you're just taking a break to really get your shit in line. Like put yourself in a position where you have control over your life or over your love life or just over your stuff in general, okay? And... <clears throat> For a lot of you guys, you may be in a space of just wanting to turn your back 
on any relationships or situations where there is tension revolving around other people being involved in your connection or just overall tension in general with the relationship, okay? And for a lot of you guys, you do have set goals in mind. And with the lover's card, there may be some things, again, taking place this week that are going to be in your highest good. And I feel like it is, again, a part of destiny. Now, coming into this week, I do have the two of cups. With this two of cups, this is, again, some sort of soulmate connection or love that you and another person share for each other. It's like you guys are really connected to each other. And for some of you guys within this relationship, you guys both may be in a space of not really knowing which direction your relationship may be going in moving forward. Um, I'm also feeling this energy of also some sort of secrets being kept within this relationship. And for a lot of you guys, I am feeling that both of you guys may be having intuitive or like feelings within yourself about the relationship that you may just be picking up on. Okay. But clarifying it, I do have the three of pentacles and the queen of swords. So again, there may have been some sort of secret outside person for others of you. This is you guys having a connection with somebody and trying to make things work within this partnership and really wanting things to be cleared up for you. Or for some of you guys, you could be again, feeling a sense of hurt with any extra parties that may have been involved or your partner not giving enough attention and energy to this. Also with this two of cups, this is you guys really needing to take time to balance out your feminine and masculine energy. For some of you guys, you may be all over the place when it comes to like your financial stuff or just a lot of responsibilities that you have. And it just may be taking up a lot of your time and really putting you in a space of, I don't know, for some of you guys, you could be, like I said, trying to put some things in place when it comes to your career, but there may be a need for you to get your energy back in place because for some of you guys as you're trying to get your finances or whatever you may be having going on um sorted out you could still be operating out of this like disappointment energy when it comes to again okay how do I explain this A lot of you guys coming into this week are you you guys are trying to get a level of balance, right? But there is a need for you to get your energy balanced before you can really conquer your finances if that makes sense. Like you guys need to make sure that you guys are together. Um cuz with the Queen of Swords, like I feel like there is a need for you guys to be strategic when it comes to your moves, especially when it comes to your financial situation so that you don't suffer any sort of disappointments. Um, but yeah, and also this may be an air sign who you may have some sort of connection with. But moving past that, what I am seeing for last week's energy, I do have the 10 of pentacles and the focus may have been um, on your home. Also, again, finances, your relationship, your family, just really the practical matters here clarifying it i have the devil card so there may have been some toxicity within the home for some of you guys for others of you there may have been some sort of toxic tie you may have had to somebody in a relationship and you may have been in a space of really wanting more from somebody who was just very in and out of your life here okay this could be a gemini libra or an aquarius or a cancer pisces or scorpio there may have been a lot of obstacles present within this relationship and you may have came to the realization that you love this person, that you may have wanted to work things out, even though it may have been a little toxic, okay? But guidance here for you guys this week uh, with the Five of Cups here, you really need to make sure you're not operating out of this regret energy or staying stuck on situations that haven't worked out for you or just sulking or being in this energy of disappointment and not allowing yourself to experience new opportunities that are very much present or like accessible to you. There's also a need for you guys to really take time for your mental health and your emotional health. And 
really just accept this wake up call that it's time for you guys to really get on top of your stuff, especially when it comes to this relationship. If this is what you want. There is a need for you guys to make some decisions about this relationship just overall. Um, and for others of you, this is you also needing to see things from a different perspective. But what I am seeing for the obstacle or issue that may come up this week, I do have the Seven of Cups. With the Seven of Cups, this is a level of emotional confusion, also not knowing which direction to go in um, when it comes to possible opportunities in love, finances, what have you. Um, also, like being under emotional illusion as well with the Five of Swords and Eight of Swords. This may be you just... Being stuck to a situation where there is a level of either mind games being played or just too many verbal disputes where people are trying to get back at each other, okay? And for some of you guys, there may be issues with the give and take within a connection with somebody. Strong air sign energy, all right? This is somebody who you have a lot of anxiety about. This person may be a little bit of a stalker or for some of you guys, this, may, this person may be even a little petty as far as communication goes, Okay? But you guys love this person or you guys feel like this person is the one for you. But this person may be a little petty, okay? But um, coming into this week, I do have the King of Pentacles energy as the outcome. And with this, this is you guys really standing in your power and really just getting on top of your responsibilities, to be honest. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles, definitely getting on top of your responsibilities. Um, definitely trying to make some things shake as far as your foundation goes. For some of you guys, there may be some sort of um, transition as well when it comes to your living environment. You may actually change homes or something of that sort. <clears throat> For others of you, there, there may be a transition or transformation when it comes to your financial situation as well with the Ten of Pentacles. For some of you guys as well, if somebody does pass away this week, you also may inherit finances um, or a home, okay? And yeah, that's pretty much what I'm seeing for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you do want a personal reading, definitely check out my description box and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Make sure you like this video, comment below, and subscribe. Bye guys.